Hey you guys, I'm back and this is just a random video. So um I just kinda you know want to talk about Easter. So you guys know Easter is coming up, it's coming up. So I just want to talk about my experiences with Easter. You know, when you're young, you get your Easter baskets. Since I used to love getting Easter baskets. I didn't get many, I don't remember. And the ones that I always wanted, like the ones that was on the top shelf with the Barbie dolls and the cars and stuff in it, I never got that one. Instead, I got the cheap Easter gifts with the plastic eggs and the bunny candy, the giant bunny candy, chocolate, which I don't eat chocolate. So I always, you know, didn't like the Easter gifts. But I just want to talk about Easter egg hunting and what you find in those Easter eggs. So I've been on several Easter egg hunts or you know you just get a basket of eggs and you know normal people put candy you know cute little things little small toys in their Easter eggs but not from what I experienced that was always on TV when they got toys and stuff but when I went Easter egg hunting as a kid my Easter eggs consisted of ghetto things. Ghetto things, let's see, let's start with number one. The number one Easter egg gift or surprise was pennies. You might get one or a couple, you know, you shake them up, you think it's candy, you open it up, it's pennies. I mean, money is cool or whatever, you know, but pennies. You know, pennies can't really do much for a kid who wants candy. So I always hated that. So I can always shake it in here like, oh yeah, this is about money. But you open up, it's like little brown pennies. The next one is, this is more country than ghetto. I got an Easter egg that contained a pecan. <laughs> yes, a pecan, like pecan. I didn't understand. I thought it was a joke. You know, like, oh, one of the kids, you know, put the candy, put the pecan in there. But it was dead on serious. Like, after all the kids got together in the huddle, opened their eggs. Everybody had pecans in some of them. So, that was, that's, that's real country. Don't, don't do that. Do not put pecans in kid, kids' eggs, whatever. The next one is stickers. You know, because, yeah, kids like stickers sticking on your forehead, face, and all that. Stick them all over the place. But these stickers wasn't Easter stickers. They were like other holiday stickers like Valentine's Day or Halloween or Christmas. So you'd just be like, but it's Easter, but I'm getting other holiday stickers. Yeah. Next one. This is really random, but this has happened to me only one time. And I opened an egg. I specifically remember that it was a green egg green plastic egg and it had one piece of popcorn in it and it wasn't even buttered it was just a piece of little white popcorn I'm not even gonna go in on that anymore cuz next um something else that's like slash country slash ghetto I had an Easter egg that contained dinner mints y'all know the soft dinner mints the one that kind of melts in your mouth Specifically meant for dinner. Yeah. Got some of that, which I don't know why they would give to kids. Because that's more of an adult thing. Dinner mints. Mints was just like the epitome of old people candy to me. Like every old woman had mints in her pocketbook. And I was like, I'm never going to have mints. I'm going to have like cow tails and skittles and stuff. And then you occasionally... Get an egg that just don't contain anything. You just get an egg. Like, what are you going to do with that egg? You just open up air. Nothing. So, um, my experiences weren't that great with Easter eggs. And I vow that when I have children, when I have little cousins now that are like, you know, like five, six, five, age of under, you know, that's a good bit of them. I'll probably, like, put, like, good things in their eggs, like candy, good stickers, stuff kids want, instead of the gifts that I were given. 
So if you have any any Easter experiences, not just aside from eggs and baskets, if you got anything you want to add to this video, just put it down below. I want to hear if y'all got anything crazy in your Easter eggs growing up or anything. So that's all. I'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, let me know. Yeah.